If you're looking for inspiration for new space games, you have come to the right video. I've gone through a dozens of games to find the ones that are worth playing today. This is going to be a long video, so make sure to check out the description or comment section for timestamps. And while you're scrolling down to the timestamps, consider hitting the like button. It helps a ton with the YouTube algorithm, and I really appreciate the support. That's enough rambling from me. Enjoy the video. Kerbal Space Program is a really unique space flight simulator that really blends creativity, physics, and exploration. And you take charge of a space program for the Kerbal species. And they're super cute but reckless. And with a collection of parts and tools, you must design, build, and test spacecraft, and even rockets and vehicles to then embark on various missions throughout the star system. And the core of the gameplay revolves around a highly detailed and accurate physics engine, which actually simulates real-world orbital mechanics and flight dynamics. You will need to consider thrust, fuel efficiency, aerodynamics, and countless other factors as you design your crafts. And this makes every successful launch, orbit, landing really rewarding. From deploying satellites to building space stations or setting foot on distance and moons and planets. The game will provide you numerous challenges and objectives, embracing both fun and realism. And beyond just the technical aspects, the game is actually highly known for its educational value. You will get a good science lesson in terms of rocket science, space engineering, in a really engaging and fun manner. And thanks to a robust modding community, you can easily play this game for thousands of hours. Elite Dangerous, a really expansive and immersive space flight simulator that takes place in a one-to-one -one scale of the Milky Way galaxy. And the game offers a realistic portrayal of space exploration, trading, combat, and more. And with the freedom to traverse billions of star systems, you can choose your own path in this multiplayer universe, whether you choose to be a trader, pirate, explorer, miner, or one of the other many professions. And the gameplay in Elite Dangerous is deeply rooted in this really authentic recreation of space physics. The ships have their own unique flight models that require you to manage thrust, power, distribution, and heat. Trading also involves understanding market demands across different star systems, while combat involves real-time dogfights with other players or NPCs. The game's economy, political structures, and territory control are dynamically influenced by both NPC and player actions, leading to an ever-evolving narrative. You can also choose to form or join factions, participate in community goals, or engage in massive fleet battles. And with a great sense of realism, vast scale, and player-driven content, the game is amazing to play and will truly captivate you. Space Engineers, a sandbox game that melts voxel-based building with realistic physics in the vast realm of space. And the game is set in a futuristic setting where space exploration and construction are advanced. You must take on the role of a space engineer, possessing the tools and freedom to design, build, and maintain all kinds of structures and machinery. This could be from space stations to intricate mining rigs, and from vast capital ships to nimble fighters. And central to the game is the building mechanic, with great emphasis on both creativity and functionality. Using an array of components, you need to craft a diverse range of structures and vessels, all with their own unique purpose, mechanic, and design. And due to the game's realistic physics engine, you need to make sure your creation behaves realistically. This could be navigating vacuum of space, or coming in for landing on a planetary surface. This means you will need to consider factors like thrust, structural integrity, power distribution, and much more, making the process of crafting these space stations really complicated but also rewarding. The game also features multiplayer, allowing you to co-op and compete in the shared universe, leading to mass community-driven projects, battles, and stories. And if you're a fan of deep building mechanics, realistic physics, and expansive universe, this game is perfect for you. Faster Than Light, one of the best top-down games ever made. Basically, the game is a real-time strategy roguelike game that takes place in a captain's seat of a spacecraft and you're navigating through a dangerous galaxy with the ultimate goal of delivering critical information and with amazing pixel art style and compelling soundtrack the game offers a blend of tactical decision making ship management and random events but at its core the game will challenge you to manage your ship crew resources and systems while engaging in tactical combat against various enemy vessels you'll need to distribute power between ship systems this could be weapons shields and engines while also directing crew members to repair damage repel borders or operate critical stations and as you can probably tell one of the most defining characteristics of the game is the difficulty death is permanent and once a ship is destroyed you need to start over from scratch but this roguelike element combined with vast array of space configurations random encounters ensures that the game offers immense replayability as you'll need to learn and adapt from each playthrough adapting your strategies and making better informed decisions and with a great captivating blend of strategy decision making and unpredictability this is one of the best modern indie strategy games out there mass effect 2. The game is set in a richly detailed science fiction universe, where you continue the journey of Commander Shepard, where after a harrowing encounter with a mysterious alien, is resurrected by the pro-human organization Cerberus, and you are tasked with assembling an elite team from across the galaxy. You must investigate the disappearance of entire human colonies and confront this new menace. 
and the gameplay seamlessly blends third-person shooter mechanics with additional role-playing elements. You can customize your abilities, your appearance, and moral decisions, affecting not only the immediate story, but also the broader arc of the trilogy. And the game also introduces a loyalty mission system, where you'll delve into the backgrounds of each character member, strengthening their bonds, and unlocking additional abilities. And this combination of these decisions, relationships, and player choices lead to various outcomes in high-stakes missions, making each playthrough really unique. And the game is renowned for deep narrative, complex characters, and moral dilemmas. And the game explores themes of sacrifice, morality, and the complexity of interstellar politics. And Mass Effect 2 is a favorite among fans and critics, and often being heralded as one of the greatest video games of all time. Dead Space, an incredible survival horror game where you are set on a massive mining spaceship that has gone silent out of nowhere, and you step into the shoes of Isaac, an engineer dispatched to repair the ship's communication systems, only to discover that the ship's crew has been slaughtered and transformed into abominations. And with limited resources, you must navigate the labyrinth corridors of the ship, fighting off these nightmarish creatures and uncovering the truth behind the calamity. The game's atmosphere is one of the most standout features. The claustrophobic confines, coupled with dynamic lighting systems, deep shadows, and a chilling sound design, cultivate a constant sense of dread. You never feel truly safe, as your enemies can emerge from vents, floor gates, or even play dead. And the game's unique strategic dismembering combat system requires you to target specific limbs of the enemies, making each encounter a tense and tactical affair. And while the core of the game is combat and exploration, the narrative drives your journey entirely. You will find audio logs and test logs, and the environment would also tell you a story and paint a grim picture of what actually happened. The game is not just a showcase of horror, but also a tale of isolation, as you grapple with your own personal demons and your desperate quest amidst the chaos. In this space too, a turn-based strategy game that casts you into the leader of one of several unique civilizations, all after dominating in the vast uncharted galaxy. And the game invites you to explore the star systems, establish your colonies, manage sprawling cities, and engage in both diplomacy and warfare with rival factions. And at the heart of the game is a great narrative-driven approach. Each civilization comes with their own storyline, challenges, and playstyle. This could be from the human-led United Empire, that are driven by industrial prowess, to the tree-like unfallen who seeks peaceful expansion. You must adapt your strategies according to a chosen civilization's strengths and weaknesses. And this narrative depth is further enriched by quests, which can unlock unique technologies, allies, or even reshape the galaxy's political landscape. And one of the standout features of the game is the intricate political and economic system. As your empire grow, you must navigate various political ideologies, each with their own benefits and challenges. This is also true for the economy. And with all of this, you are juggling resource trading, technology to ensure your empire's prosperity. And the battles of the game are more about strategic preparation and fleet composition than real-time decisions. And with a great blend of rich storytelling, and detailed empire management, and deep strategic gameplay, in this space too, is an amazing game. If you love strategy games. Stellaris, a grand strategy game that seamlessly melts intricate diplomacy, resource management, and deep exploration. And at its core, the game is about forging an empire among the stars, offering you the thrill of discovering new solar systems, encountering enigmatic alien races, and establishing your dominance in the galaxy. And styling just a single home planet and a modest fleet of spaceships, you must set out to explore procedurally generated galaxies, each of them teeming with mysteries, resources, and potential allies or adversaries. And as your empire expands, so do your challenges, from managing complex political issues within diverse planetary populations to navigating intricate webs of interstellar diplomacy. You'll have battles on both the political and the military kind, and you must be quick to adapt in both strategy and tactics to achieve your own vision for your civilization. And as a hallmark of Stellaris is the incredible depth and replayability. The game offers a multitude of customization options in terms of species and empires, ensuring that no two playthroughs are identical. You have randomized galaxies generation, varied research trees, and dynamic event chains that further adds layers of randomness. Including that, the game's mod support and consistent post-launch DLCs and updates have enriched the content even further, to the point where it's not just a game, but a truly evolving space where you can craft your own narrative in an ever-expanding cosmic playground. No Man's Sky was an expansive and ambitious science fiction game set in an infinite, procedurally generated universe. And the game's core concept 
is exploration. There are virtually countless planets, each with unique environments, flora, fauna, and resources. And the overarching goal of the game is vague, allowing you to carve your own journey. You could become a trader, or a pirate, a researcher, or simply a wanderer. And the sheer scale of the world in No Man's Sky is what is set itself apart from the competition. And the multiplayer component of the game significantly enhances the overall experience, and the survival aspects demanding resource management and environmental awareness as a depth to the gameplay. And in terms of the gameplay, you start off with a basic spaceship and a survival suit, both of which can be upgraded and customized as you progress. Early gameplay involves learning to gather and manage resources, deciphering alien languages, and understanding the mechanics of interstellar travel. And as you progress further on into the game, you can build bases, you can cultivate crops, breed creatures, undertake missions, engage in combat, trade, or just explore the endless cosmos of the universe, EVE Online. And you are launched into a vast cosmic sandbox, teeming with opportunities, mysteries, and danger. And the game is set in a sprawling universe, composed of thousands of star systems and wormhole-filled galaxies, where countless activities, politics, and economics take place. And the goal in this persistent player-driven universe is as broad as space itself. You can choose to explore, you can trade, fight, mine, pirate, or become a powerful tycoon amongst the stars. And the outcome of your journey is determined entirely by your decisions, your actions, and relationships with all the players. And the gameplay is a unique blend of exploration, player economy, PvP, and PvE combat. And the game offers an open world experience where every aspect, from the in-game economy to territorial conflicts, is run by its player base. And with a vast amount of ships to fly, skills to learn, and roles to fill, the complexity and depth of EVE are simply unparalleled. And the standard feature is the intricate player one economy that really serves as the game's backbone. Every item, ship, and structure in the game is manufactured by players using resources they've harvested or acquired. That said, the game won't hold your hand at all. It's an expansive universe that demands strategic thinking, patience, and dedication. But if you're willing to delve into complex systems and play through the world, it offers an unrivaled space simulation experience where every choice matters. Let me know in the comments which game on this list is your favorite, but also what game you're gonna try out after watching this video. And if you're looking for more inspiration for games to play, I would highly recommend checking out the videos on the screen now as I think you will also really like those. So check those out and I'll see you over there.